When the show starts, music has a way, doesn't it, of just making you happy. Certainly it makes you feel, and that's a great way for us to open up the show this morning because Betty Ann Neal is our first guest. She is with the Chattanooga Music Club, uh, all members of that club, great believers in the power of music, especially classical. So nice to see you. Good morning, Julie. Good to see you. I happen to be, I've said this before, a real lover of classical music, and my mornings every day begin with turning my radio on to 90.5 at a Southern Adventist. I love that station. But there's something soothing and um, kind of meditative, really, about classical music. I Is agree. that fair to say? I love to listen to it as well, and I like to play the piano and the organ and it just brings great joy to my life. And I think what y'all have done, you were sharing with me that the Chattanooga Music Club is the oldest music club in the state. That's right, we are 126 years old and have been offering programs, scholarships, all sorts of musical opportunities to the people of Chattanooga. I like the scholarship part of it because so often when you're a young person growing up, your mom will make you get piano lessons or you play trumpet in the band and then that part of your life ends and you can quickly put down that love of music and then you kind of lose it. Y'all don't want to see that get lost. No, we don't want to see it get lost. We do have a scholarship program for high school students mm -hmm. and you can get information on our website. We offer that the spring of every year. So we hope that we give the high school students that little extra boost so yeah. that they'll have the money to pursue their musical talents. And didn't you tell me that now y'all have begun one for young adults as well? Yes, we do. We have the Grace Moore Scholarship that's come back to Chattanooga. That's about 75 years old and that's for young adults. That is a biennial scholarship program. We offered it in 2022, so the next time it will be offered will be 2024. Okay, so let's talk about what you have coming up the month of October, because it's pretty busy for you, yes. beginning with October 16th at the beautiful First Cumberland Presbyterian Church. What a great venue. Yes, we're going to sponsor Opera Tennessee. Now, a lot of people in Chattanooga don't know about Opera Tennessee, but it is, uh, a group of individuals who like to perform operas and they will be doing some little vignettes for us mm -hmm. all of the opera's greatest hits so you'll get to hear all oh. those tunes that you have heard in the background all of your life if you're not a classically trained uh, opera enjoyer but uh -huh. it's something a little something for everybody i love the idea though of it being the greatest <laughs> hits because i mean to be fair some classical pieces can be sometimes six minutes long or more. You know, that's not unusual. Um, but to get the highlights, and people might hear these and go, I remember that from Bugs Bunny. Exactly. Right? I mean, I'm not kidding. Now, a, lot of, a lot of people get their musical uh, education through Bugs Bunny. Yeah. So. I, do you remember when American Idol was quite the hit mm -hmm. on TV? And my older, my younger daughter um, and I were watching one time, and she would have been about 10, maybe, not an age where you typically love opera. And this contestant came on, and he was kind of farcical. I mean, you might have laughed at him. But he ended up being this great opera singer, and it was unexpected. Mm -hmm. And I looked down, and Meg had gotten real still, and I knew she didn't want me to notice her, but she was crying because the music was so so beautiful and it was unexpected. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to know it well That's right. to love it. That's right. So then you're kind of switching gears and at the end of the month, y'all are doing something else that you're sponsoring, We are right? collaborating with the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera to allow the people in Chattanooga to hear the mighty Austin organ at the Memorial Auditorium. Y'all maintain that, right? We, we do. We have uh, been instrumental in, in this organ and keeping it up to, up to date. And it's going to be a great treat for people to hear it. Dr. Sarah Har will be playing the organ, playing a little scary Bach for mm, everybody. Fun. So at the Monster Mash, and the Monster Mash is a great opportunity for kids to come and dress up. I may even dress up, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, you know, when you talk about maintaining it, and I don't pretend that this will be your field of expertise, but you might know more than I, that we are lucky to even have the mighty we Austin. Are. I mean, it's a dying art mm -hmm. taking care of those. It, it really does take a lot, a lot of time to keep it, to keep it 
in good working order and it is a huge organ. One of the things that people don't know is there is, for example, one pipe that is 32 feet long. What? Can you imagine a pipe being that long? Wow. So it is, it is a very big organ and we're, we're very fortunate to have it here in Chattanooga. Sometimes the things that take place at Memorial Auditorium are free, you know, when you do like the patriotic concerts mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. At the Monster Mash, is that a ticketed event? Yes, that is a ticketed event. And okay. you would go to the CSO site to buy those tickets. Okay, and then I will say, Say if your October is just busy and you don't have a weekend free, you don't have to miss out because your holiday concert is coming That's up right. in November. That's right. On November 20th at First Cumberland Presbyterian Church, 3 o'clock, that's a Sunday afternoon, we have a wonderful event planned. And we have two wonderful groups, the Metropolitan Bells, and you've probably seen them play mm -hmm. uh, in Chattanooga, and they put on a great show, and the Choral Arts Society. Uh, will be singing. So we've got these two events. In addition to that, we're going to have a community sing-along. Oh, fun! And if we're lucky, Santa Claus might even come. And that's on November 20th. That's right. And if you're wondering about the venue for First Cumberland Presbyterian Church, it's just kind of this gothic, beautiful uh, sanctuary here mm -hmm. in town. And so the acoustics are fantastic. Yes. It's a sought-after venue for a lot of artists. So, Betty Ann, so good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. If you are a music lover and you would love to kind of be a part of what they do at the Chattanooga Music Club, they have a great website, which you see there on your screen. You can go online there and find out more about how you might be able to join in their efforts to preserve the love of music, especially classical, here in our town. Thank you, Betty Ann. Thank you, Julie. Talk, 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 talk,